Welcome to another WC Manager tutorial and in this tutorial I'll help you and show you how does the live stream application works. So I'm going here to the applications tab. Um, I've already created an application, it's called Livestream012. So as you can see, this is our start screen for the live stream application. As you can see here, it's warning us that your application does not require this space. That's because uh, you don't have to upload anything here. The live stream only works with live streaming, with broadcasting things that are going live. So if you don't have anything going live at the moment, you will see a gorgeous black screen in front of you. So here is the, you can see that you have the access uh, the access feature to see who is online, who is accessing and watching you, you restart and stop applications. Uh, you can watch where people is accessing, so right here, right now, I'm accessing from the south of Brazil. As you can see right here, so there are other informations, the same way as other applications, like traffic information and application information. Uh, you can see that there is no FTP um, data, so that's because you don't need to upload anything, uh, as I said before, and you have here the live encoder data, because you need to, you need those, those data to, um, to put it on your live encoder, so it will broadcast things to the application. So let's move on. So we have here the player tab, and here in the player tab, you're gonna customize your player uh, just as the other applications. So you have the logo image you can put, the aspect radio, the width, the height of your player, the title, so, and we'll fill those things. Uh, click on the generate button, and we'll give you the, the, the source code to put it on your web page, and there you go, and you will have your player. So I'm gonna create it here really fast. So I press it. I press it on generate button, and there you go. I have my player. So all I have to do is, um, I need to select all this code, paste it on my website, and I will have my player ready to go. So moving to the links. So the links works the same way for other applications too. So you have um, four different. Um, player source codes for Android, like newer and older versions, Apple devices, Blackberry, and you also have here the start page, because I enable, I enable it. So what is, what, how does it work? So you just need to copy the source code, you paste it on your website, and we will have this link so people on mobile devices can access your website and watch the stream. Okay, so statistics, uh, we have Three basic things, as we have in other applications, like the calendar, the geolocation, and the access history. So you just select a date or a specific day in the calendar, and we'll show you the geolocation, the access history between those, the range, and that's that's pretty it. You can also access the map, but it, I'm not going to show you right now because it will take a while. But that's that's pretty that's pretty it. So let's move into the logs. So the logs here you can see, you can check everything that, that happened through your, since you created the application or when you were broadcasting, when you stopped it, who, who started watching you, who, when they ended watching you. Yeah, because you, here you have the IP, the internet protocol people are using, the duration of the broadcast, the agent or the machine that you're using. In this case, I'm using Windows machine. Uh, you can see here when the encoder was connected. So here's the Flash Media Live encoder, when it was created, when, when I disconnected. So it's mainly for checkup reasons. So, uh, and every time I went to to see if new things are happening, I just have to click here and update, and it will refresh this data. Okay, so let's move to registration. So registrations, it's all the basic information about your 
application like name, the user, the plan, that's, that's all basic things. So in the resource tabs, you, you can select a resource like in this one, uh, I can select a transcoder, I can see, uh, I can then select templates and of the quality I can switch for based on the internet connection, the internet speed people have, um, and that, that's pretty it. But remember the transcoder, you have to pay for each application you're gonna use, and I, and so you have, you have to be careful on that. So the, the last part is the startup page. So this startup page is a, it's a, an, a future we developed, so people don't need to actually have a website to post their things or to stream their stuff, so, uh, you just press, just uh, write a name for the startup page, uh, and here at Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus, you just put a put a link for your your homepage, your your fan page, or something in Facebook. So it will redirect you to those websites, and you won't have any problem. So. So, as you can see, I'm not broadcasting anything, so it appears error loading stream ID not found on the server. So if I intend to use it and I intend to stream, I have to go here at the live encoder data. I have to open my live encoder and I copy the data like the stream, the stream name I, I registered. Put it here on the stream. I have to copy the... Uh, our TMP and as I as I chosen that I need to I need authorization to start streaming something over here uh, it will ask me for a username and a password so Here's my username. My password is one two three four five six. Okay, so it's starting to stream. So okay. it's starting to stream. So as you can see, you have a blank sheet in front of you. That's that's what I'm streaming right now, and. That's the point. When I stop streaming this, it will, that's, it that's will what I'm go right back now. to the black screen you've seen before. And that's when I stop, will... Okay, so it's pretty simple. You don't have much features to do about it. You just need to start streaming something, and when it stops, it stops. And the only thing you can do of resources is a certain scope. Um, Okay guys, I showed you how it works the the live stream application. I uh, I hope you understood. So thank you for watching.